Hey there! In this video you're going to learn how to install Portainer and set up your first container. The links to all websites as well as the commands can be found in the description below. Please note that this is just a very basic installation that does not follow best practice guidelines. Please don't use this guide for corporate or commercial systems. Thank you. If you haven't installed Docker already, go to get.docker.com and follow the installation instructions. The first command will download the installation script. The second command is used to show the contents of the script. You should always check what random scripts from the internet do. The third command is used to perform a dry run installation. I will skip this step as I'm installing Docker on an isolated test VM. I recommend that you perform a dry run if you want to install Docker on a production system. The fourth command will actually install Docker. This process may take a few minutes. While the Docker installation process runs, visit the Portainer installation instructions website. Once the Docker installation is completed, you will need to set up a persistent volume with the first command and then start the Portainer container with the second command. This again will take a few seconds, depending on your network speed. If you want to enable plain HTTP for the Portainer web interface, add port 9000 to the startup command. Please note that I am running the Docker commands as sudo. I don't recommend this for corporate or commercial infrastructure. If possible, set up Docker so that it can run without sudo. Once the container has started, you can visit localhost on port 9443 with HTTPS or localhost on port 9000 if you have HTTP enabled. On the Portainer web interface, start creating an admin account with a strong password. Go to home and select the local environment. This is where you will start your first Docker container. For this demo, I am going to use Nextcloud. First, go to volumes and create a persistent volume with a recognizable name. Persistent volumes are used as storage for containers. Now go to containers and create a new container. Give it a name and define the image you want to use. To find an image, visit hub.docker.com and search for the container you want to run. In this case, we are looking for Nextcloud. Copy the entire name of the image and paste it into the image field. Now define the port mapping. The host port defines the port that you will use to reach the container and the container port defines to which port your request should be redirected to. This can be very useful when you have multiple containers that want to use port 80. Now define the persistent volume that you want to use for the container. Please note that some containers may require multiple volumes to work. Nextcloud would in theory require a second volume for the internal database. So if you actually want to use it, please create and assign it accordingly. Now you can deploy your container. This again may take a while depending on your network speed. Once that is done, you should be able to access Nextcloud via localhost on port 8080 as defined in the port mapping. A quick check with sudo docker ps shows that two containers are now running. That's all. I hope it helped. Until next time. Bye.